Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic as ever to have you here. Well, it could have been more fantastic. In yesterday's episode, we had a big problem. Our investment was not thick enough around the edges of our wax. In the process of burning out or in the process of casting, the investment broke. The brass just poured right out the side of our flask. Big problem, which means that the guard that Will spent two weeks working on, complete failure. But thank goodness we spent one day and used some silicon to make ourselves a backup mold of half of the guard. And what we're gonna be trying to do today is seeing if we can inject wax into there to get half of our guard in wax back. But again, we've gotta do it without the exact right equipment. We've gotta make do, gotta learn and try using improper wax, since it's all we have right now. An improper injector made for desserts. Well, this should just be a piece of cake. Without further ado, let's jump right into the episode. I'm just gonna throw some uh, pieces of scrap wax that we have. That should be enough. The wax is pretty much melted at this point. We've got our silicon mold here. It's still a little bit dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that out. Okay, we got hot wax. It's time to try this. Okay, that did not work at all. That melted immediately. Oh my goodness. Wow. Why don't we open this up and just pour the hot wax in there? And then all we've got to do is work on the back of it. Ken. Think it's cooled down enough? Let's see, let's give it a peel. Oh. Oh! That kind of looks like a guard. There are a lot of bubbles on it though. Wow. So this is promising that if we could get bubbles out mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. I think the wax is too thick. Too thick to properly debubble. For this sort of thing, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so since you last saw us, a lot of time has passed. Like probably six days or so. Now, what we've done is we have ordered injection casting wax. This stuff is made for putting into a mold to then make that repeatability. Uh, it's made for doing exactly what we're doing, except they usually do it by pressurizing um, the actual wax and forcing it into the mold. We don't have a way to do that. We don't have a way to do that. So. We're gonna have to try and do it in multiple get a uh, done kind of ways. So we're gonna melt this cinnamon candy, I mean wax. It looks and smells like candy. As you were saying, we're gonna melt it in here, hopefully without any bubbles. How much are we gonna need in there? Less than that. The first technique we're gonna try is the last technique we tried, which is the pour and squish method. It is a very get a done kind of way of doing it. What we're also gonna do, which we, uh, we learned on some jewelry forums, is we're gonna poke some holes in this so that the gases can escape. Hopefully this will be useful. So he's doing the pour, I'm doing the squish. Don't make it splash. I'm really trying not to. Ah! Did you just burn yourself? No, I just scared myself. Okay, you just made it splash, Will. Looks like blood. <laughs> oh my god. That is like it's straight out of a horror movie. So this still has some cooling down to do, but I want to show you guys what I am so excited about. This is the most snow that I have ever seen in my life out of a mountain. Look at this! This is unbelievable! There is just so much snow! It's unbelievable. I don't think I've ever done a snow angel. Oh! That's still asphalt underneath there. Anyway, should we see if that wax is cool? <laughs> you look like the abominable <laughs> snowman. A little warm, but we're feeling impatient, so we're gonna have a look and see how the wax looks. Oh! Okay, let's pull it out now. All right. Ah, that's <laughs> meant to stay attached. That looks unbelievable. That's really nice. The fidelity that this wax picks up is just phenomenal. I mean, there's a couple bubbles. We're gonna have to redo it uh, because of that. Pour number two. Go ahead, pour from nice and high up. Try to get it in there. We've got some cool wax in here. That looks like it's filled the entire thing. <laughs> and it didn't it didn't overflow either. That's pretty Is good. Is it all the way there or do we need another go? I think we need one more. Okay, the next bit of wax is melted. Woo! Oh. Oh, that's pretty dang good. What you reckon? No. No? We're missing a bit of the detail right here, there, and there, and there. Rod Hughes over in the UK demonstrated to me when I visited his workshop back in um, June or July. And the idea is, is we're gonna get this wax molten, we're gonna put it in, and we're gonna start shaking this around in small little layers to get it filling what it is that we need to fill. The trouble with that is we're not gonna get uh, the design on the back, we're just gonna focus on the front. What's on the back can be carved in later. We both think that I poured way too much in for the first layer, so we're gonna rip it out. We're gonna do it in thinner, smaller layers. Wow, that is satisfying. Will's gonna give it a go. I think we're ready to give it a, give it a pop. Oh, that's not good. What that's does the detail good. look like? It's actually not too bad, except for the, no, it is too bad. Uh-oh. The S stayed. That's, that's not what we want. 
here we go for the second try at the old pour and squish. Let's see. Okay, couple problem areas, but uh, overall that's nice. Okay, chaos. That is the way to describe what it is that I'm holding in my hands. This is a lot of attempts at injecting wax the entirely wrong way. Off camera, we actually had about the most success with this one that Alex just dropped. I'm just kidding. We had the most success with a turkey baster, <laughs> sucking up the wax and then pushing it in. The good thing about all these attempts is we're gonna be able to do this. Will is gonna look for the best one. We're gonna hopefully be able to make ourselves up a new guard that we can use in new investment. Okay, so here's the guard that I've been working on. I've been building up wax in certain places on it. I just need to build up a little bit more and then get to work on the rest of it down below and then spruing up and making connections between it as well as moving that little finial a little bit farther forward so it doesn't come out so far back because it doesn't need to. So I'm gonna make that a little bit taller and a little bit closer to the rest of the guard and then I'll finish out that shape. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into this box so that I have, I don't know, probably three eighths to half inch thick slab of wax that I can work with to make the lower part of that guard. I'm also gonna fill up this tube full of wax so that I can make that second half of the sprue that goes down to the lower half of the guard. So I'm actually just gonna put this in here so that it'll have a place to seal as I pour this wax. I think this thing is pretty much cooled down. Go ahead and break the tube out of there. All right, I'm gonna light it on fire. Hey, there we go. I've got my block. The beginning of this video now at this point was like two weeks ago. There has been a long time in this pause on the Cavalry Sabre. And as you can see in the background, we've been still working towards making this Cavalry Sabre as good as possible. And what Will ended up doing, he has sprued it up and put it on a rubber base ready for that to be put inside a flask. This is a six inch flask and it is the largest diameter flask I could possibly find. It's perforated, which means that you get a better draw on the vacuum. And so hopefully this is going to work well. The key piece of equipment that we're now waiting on is a wax burnout kiln, which I can't wait to show you guys when it finally arrives. But we wanna have an actual wax burnout kiln for this so that we can make sure that we properly burn out the wax, properly cure that investment. It's gonna be a little bit better now. And to finish off this video, the plan is this, Will. You remember, we never cast the pommel. And so who knows if it will work or not. It has been sat there about two weeks and we're gonna see how it looks. If it fails, so be it. It doesn't matter too much because it's gotta get poured eventually or, uh, or we'll never know if it works or not. If it works, great. So it's back over to Will. You can fire up that forge and try casting some brass, pull a vacuum, and hopefully this pommel works. Let's get to it. So we've got this investment heating up. The, the negative space of the pommel is hidden inside there. I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit more, uh, and then I'm gonna take it out and put it right next to it so it stays warm while we melt the brass and get ready to pour it. I've got the brass measured out in a crucible. I'm gonna bring that outside here in a second and get that heating up. Here we have the brass. It's in the form of these little chunks. It's supposed to be very good for casting. We'll see if the brass melts at this temperature, and if it doesn't, then we'll turn it up. Uh, we were having some overheating issues last time, so we wanna keep it a little bit cooler, I think. We've got the vacuum chamber on. We've got to put the investment on top of the vacuum chamber. I'm gonna take the brass out, and then we're gonna do the pour. All right. There we go. Okie dokie. Here we go. It looks beautiful from the top. Couple little pieces of schmoo on there, but hot dang, that's pretty good. Did I hear the sounds of success? Yes, you did. What? Two little pieces of schmoo there. What? Well, apparently brass casting does work and it's not snipe hunting like I was beginning to suspect. I think we were just using bad brass, maybe, also. That is just gorgeous. That's nice, have a little taste of success after all that failure.
came out fantastic. The wax that Will has been working on. You've done a great job on this. Hopefully this works. Hopefully with an actual flask, we're gonna have a much better chance of success. Hopefully this is still entertaining for you to watch us muddling through this. It's a hell of a challenge, but we are getting there. And so we can't wait to see you very soon on the next Cavalry Sabre video or whatever video it might be. I'm sure there's gonna be another setback that pushes us back another three weeks, just like this one. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. Pleasure as always. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.